Joining us now from Capitol Hill, Congressman David Rouse, Rouser uh, of North Carolina. Con Congressman, uh, we had a, I had a Democratic congressman, one of your colleagues on earlier, who said it was folly and he was very angry at the notion that somehow uh, ISIS has been emboldened by the administration's reluctance to call, call out radical Islam. Do you agree with that? Well, I think the fact of the matter is uh, we have a very dire threat uh, that we face in ISIS, and we have to call it what it is. It is an outgrowth of radical extremist Islamic, and uh, the fact of the matter is uh, we, we've got to take the battle to them, and we've got to have a comprehensive uh, strategy in place to do that. Uh, I'm hoping that the president uh, tonight will talk about uh, this issue. It's, it's on the hearts and minds of all the American people, and we've got to have a comp comprehensive uh, strategy and plan in place uh, to defeat them. In your mind, sir, what would a comprehensive strategy look like? Because we're getting, uh, we're getting suggestions anywhere from bar barring all Muslims from entering this country uh, to, to carpet bombing uh, places in, in the Middle East where we know ISIS is embedded among civilians to just keep the way it going, it's going now because we'll ultimately win. That's a wide, wide range, wide parameters. Where do you see the answer? Well, I think we need to uh, express to our allies uh, that they really are our allies. We need to work with them uh, to put together a plan of action. Uh, we need to uh, attack this from a social media perspective as well. Uh, that's how they're gaining a lot of their recruits, obviously. And we need to be very firm in our resolve. And when we say, and when we, when we draw a red line in the sand, for example, we need to follow up on it and do what we say we're going to do. That's Perhaps. very, very important. And basically, we've lost all credibility under this administration why this election in 2016 is so critically important. There's no doubt about it, Representative Rousey. And also I want to ask you about guns. President Obama uh, has made this his signature issue for the final year of his office. He wants to push through uh, what he considers tighter gun control through executive action. He's going to make a pitch for that tonight. What are your thoughts? Well, number one, I think his actions are completely, totally unconstitutional, and I think the courts will ultimately rule that way. Uh, but again, uh, this is why elections have consequences and why the election of 2016 is so important. I'm hoping tonight, uh, as I said, uh, that he will focus on what's on the hearts and minds of the American people. Uh, that's a comprehensive plan to uh, defeat ISIS. It'd be great uh, to have that laid out. It'd be great uh, for him to talk about what we can do to improve our economy, and that doesn't mean more uh, rules and regulations. Uh, it means uh, getting Getting rid of uh, many rules and regulations sure. that we have on the books that are that are stymieing economic process, and it also means having fundamental tax reform. A capital right. investment, as you well know, goes where it's welcome, not where it's unwelcome. That's right, and that's why the money's not circulating in this economy right now. Great points. We appreciate your time. Thank you.